All right, we're going to do a Let's Play of Missing Since January, as it is called in North America. In Europe, it's called In Memoriam. Actually, I actually think it's a little bit of a better name, but we're in North America, so it's going to be Missing Since January. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in, not give a whole lot of backstory. I downloaded a patch for this game, which should make it work. Apparently, there was connection problems with the original version. Um, all you really need, you need to set up an email account. I've done that, madevidence at gmail.com. It's right there. We've got Google Chrome ready to go. Got the email there. Got Google there. We've got our game here. Um, I used uh, Mad Evidence because I was originally going to do uh, Evidence the Last Ritual, um, but decided instead to do Missing since it was the pr since it was the first game in the series. So go ahead and register. I hope this works. All right. The password has been sent to your email. Okay. So we will go to our email. Now we'll go to our email. Why is it not working? No, I think I know why. Let's go in and fix something real fast. Let's go to Gmail. Okay, because every time it updates, it's going to give us um, it's going to add a little number up there and that throws off my recording program. All right, so now we have our password. Go ahead and just copy and paste this. We'll need this every single time we play. Um, so I'll go ahead and star this because it's important. All right, so now we'll go back to the game. And, ah. Uh, Go back to the game and we will paste our password in. Add a bunch of space that didn't. Okay, confirm. No account has been created with that login. No, I'm pretty sure it has. Evidence it's at gmail.com. Online register. Okay, apparently we're having some issues. I don't know why the heck is it saying that it can't clearly just set up an account. Confirm it in case it's not been validated. We have to do this first. Invalid password. That space right there. All right, okay, we're off and running now. Caution, the following video may offend certain viewers. I'll try to keep quiet during most of this. Are you offended? I'm offended. A video clip you just seen was recently sent to our agency. It was accompanied by a CD-ROM. We had not been able to decrypt. I'll just go ahead and explain the backstory in case the game doesn't get into it. Um, basically, uh, this agency is SKL Network, and there's a journalist that works for them named Jack Lorsky, and him and his friend Karen Gijman uh, went missing, I'm assuming in January, since it's missing since January. Um, no leads, and then one day the CD-ROM shows up, um, apparently from the guy that has them and so let's see if it gets in police have taken this package very seriously in light of explaining the disappearance of our employee Jack Lorsky and sent from Jack's family we've decided to distribute the CD-ROM which amounts to the only clue in our possession and your help to decrypt the program uh, thank you in advance so basically they've mass uh, distributed the CD-ROM program to the public 
hoping that someone can uh, get through it and maybe find out where Jack is, and that's where we come in. Uh, send you updates. That's why we need an email address. In fact, let's check and see if we have any e emails. Oh, that's right, we got to go to this one, and then tab over. And uh, no emails, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the game. We gotta find things. You are not eagles. Soul Invictus. You have not felt happiness. Down to the turn. Almost be a bird. To float. Above the dark. Looks like a puzzle. It's pretty obvious. If the game's gonna be like that, this should be no problem. It's pretty creepy. Does it remind anyone else of the ring? So you want some news about the Polish guy, do you? you must be referring to Jack. This has been good, you've earned yourself a little reward. Okay. Why do we get a reward for solving that puzzle? It wasn't even a puzzle. Alright, so he's got some Jack, some Jack's uh, video log. Karen's laughter and presence have been a welcome companion for several months now, in such stark contrast to the horrific spout of killings that we've become embroiled in. Over the past few weeks, she's become much more than just a helping hand or a shoulder to lean on. I don't understand what's going on. It's... Uh, can you come? Can you come? Can you come? I'd led such a lonely existence until she walked into my life. Hey, what are you doing? Give me a break. Come on. Come on. Get out. Maybe it's what I've started feeling for her that keeps me going. As if stopping the investigation now would jeopardize our relationship. Even so, I can't help thinking that the nearer we get to the truth, the less likely we are to get out of this unscathed. Hmm. keeps calling us little friend throughout the game. So I guess we have to keep playing. Small test. I have a feeling they're going to be harder than the uh... than that one that we did. Moving the hand into the knife. Three tests are waiting for you. So we got a box, a sun, and a moon, and something. Okay, so we just want us clicking on that yet. Let's do the box. 
Yeah. Password, okay. So this is Corpus. Oh. Alright, so if these are keyboard. Okay, so we'll just type C O R P U S. Okay. I typed C O R P U S, but it came out for that. Okay, so basically the keys are being remapped differently, so I'll just go in alphabetical order so we get it one by one. That was A, no, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Alright, we got the first one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, Alright, the second one, so PH. Uh, A, B, C, D, E. PHE. Alright. Alright, PHEN. Fien, phenol. Alright, that was I. P H E N. Uh, there's only one letter, it could be X. So his name is Phoenix, or The Phoenix. More creepy stuff. Alright, got the sun and the moon. Let's go for the sun. And a number there. It's 42619. I wonder if that means anything. The internet. Okay, let's just try for. We can't type in any numbers, we can only type in letters, okay. Okay. He likes to taunt us apparently. Use the blade. Alright, so got this. When we drag it around, we uncover an image. Can't make out what that says. There we go. Zenith.com. That's an anagram of Phoenix. That. And it brings up a website. So, let's open it in the web browser. So, here's what it gives us it's like an image we get to scroll around. We find a password. See that? Anima. Which, by the way, we got an email, so let's go ahead and read that. Latest info from SKL Network. Profile has been hired to build a psychological portrait. Figures a strong chance they're still alive. Given them your details, you can get in touch with us. Uh, they have a website, sklnetwork.com. Hmm. This is Jack Lorsky. This is what we would want. They have a timeline, it looks like. Seven months ago. Oh, okay. We don't need to get into all that. Alright. Go back to the game. My password is Anima. It'd be nice if I could spell. Alright, it's two down. Is he gonna give us another video here? What did that say? Alright. Alright, let's see what the moon puzzle has for us. 
On the password, the internet again. Path of the sun. There's just letters falling into place. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, we click the sun, and it gives us another website to go to. Meanwhile, the letters just keep going into place. See this website now. Oh, look. See, it looks like there's letters right there. I'm guessing the first one's an S because it's got an S right there. Way to zoom out on this. That'd be nice. Oh yeah, it's not working. Duh. Can we go back to Google? Google my Google tab. It's P I R. I R I T U S. Let's give that a try. And look, that works with a lot of letters we've already got here. How do we get them to? Okay, well, there's a U. We need that there. I don't need the S right there. Get in the plot. Get in the hole. Alright, making progress. Got through the test of the initiates. More creepy images. Alright, go ahead and click on it. Corpus vegetable. Looks pretty cool. The Phoenix should work as a graphic designer. He's probably got mad After Effects skills. Some Bible names in there. I think this is a good stopping place for part one. Um, looks like we'll call this level one. Got these things I guess we can click on. Alright, we'll pick up with this next time.